I created my very own club in FIFA and over these five years we've had unprecedented success. We've gone from EFL League 2 all the way to the Premier League. We even won an FA Cup last season. But all this has only been possible because of the players we've had from day one. Like Sir Raul Lopez, David Tyler, Alan Berry who believed in the project. One more such player was Tyler Burns. He was special. The goals he scored, the assists he gave, the way he transformed our team and made us believe that the impossible is possible. It was special. But ultimately when the time came we had to let go real madrid came in with a big offer they wanted dara burns and there was nothing we could do but fast forward to today things are different we've got an adidas sponsorship we've got an emirates deal we're in a new stadium we're in the premier league playing in the europa league and so today we're making it our mission to do whatever it takes to bring dara burns home this episode's gonna be massive for the series we could potentially bring back a club icon oh man the thought of dara burns back in an s2g FC shirt repping the club representing us it'll be emotional man he was so good for us man honestly made his belief made his dream he's fulfilled his dream of playing for Real Madrid I think it's time to bring him back home now of course the problem really is that he's worth about 53.5 million and we've only got about 50 million in the bank I don't think we're going to be able to sign him unless we figure something out to make this work we're in the S2G offices figuring out a solution how we can sign Dara Burns and maybe you guys can help me out. This one's interesting. Try signing Dara Burns back in a swap deal for Kubo. That's what I was thinking about as well. That way you should be able to sign him and not go bankrupt. Love this series and I really want to see Dara Burns in the Nestu GFC shirt as well. Ah, two man savior as well. You guys are right. If we do a swap deal with Kubo involved, I think that's our best shot at signing Dara Burns. But even if we do that, I'll basically make it impossible for us to sign anyone else. We're going to have to rely on the rest of our team to get the job done, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because we've got a good team. Mukiele was the player we signed last episode for this season. And it's a good signing in terms of overall at least. So I'm willing to sacrifice Kubo and bring in Dara Burns. Boys, we're going to have to act quick. There's only about a week and a half left for the window to shut and boy that that that's something we need to get done now otherwise the prize is going to skyrocket as well Do you know what without waiting anymore let's get it done let's make this happen we're gonna put in an offer and see if real madrid are willing to entertain us remember kubo did play for real madrid so maybe that can help us out a little bit we're gonna straight up put kubo in a swap deal who's worth about 37 and a half million that changes everything i can maybe put in an offer of say 13 million or 14 million or 15 million that's that's what we'll try with Kubo and see what Real Madrid say. I think they're gonna counter. They've countered with 38 million wowsies, but it's possible. We literally have the money to make this happen. I'm gonna counter with say 22 million. I wanna get this for as cheap as possible to leave us with a bit of cash that we can use elsewhere, but they're not willing to go down from 38 million. Now, what about 30 million? Come on, meet us in the middle somewhere. No, they aren't. This is brutal. They know what Dara Burns is worth. What about 33? That's crazy money. And finally, Carlo Ancelotti agrees with 33 million, but we had to work hard for this negotiation. Dara Burns back in the S2GFC offices. You love to see that. It's our job now to convince him for our project. We're going to make him one of our best players. He knows it. Crucial squad role. He knows everything about this club. It just has to happen. This is a signing that I envisioned a few seasons ago when he left the club. It's time to bring him back from Real Madrid. No release clause or any of that. I can't be offering him 180,000, man. That is just crazy money for a club like ours. 140, I think, is the maximum we can go. And he's willing to accept it. He loves the club as well. That's what's up. He's willing to take a pay cut to join S2GFC. And there you go. Darren Burns is going to be back at the club where he made a name for himself. And it's it's going to be emotional seeing him in an S2GFC shirt, man, honestly. There he is, walking back into the club offices. Why does he look like he doesn't know the office of people here? Oh, look at that. Beating Raul Lopez, the reunion of dreams. And there you go, Darren Burns number 11 injected bro I love this love this he's back in an S2 GFC shirt this is honestly emotional a lot has changed at the club but I'm sure he'll bring in an incredible level of performance oh look at how good he looks in an S2 GFC shirt things you do love to see not just Dara Burns boys you guys would look great in these S2 GFC kits as well get yours now link in the description s2gfc.com we're selling out pretty fast as well not many pieces are left in this first drop so get yours now
now. Use code S2GFC at checkout to get yourself a cheeky 10% off. It's time to get back into some Premier League action. We got through this Aston Villa Carabao Cup game on penalties. Not really looking to prioritize the Carabao Cup all that much because let's be real, we're going to have a hands full with just the Europa League and the Premier League. It'll be smart to do that. By the way, Europa League draw is about to happen very soon. Yo, has it already happened? I think it has. I think it has. S2 GFC, we're being drawn in the Europa League, which is our group. It's not showing up here. Okay, let's take a look. Europa League, what is our group? Our first ever European competition. It's time to go to Netherlands, Greece, and probably Scotland. Oh my days. That Emirates fly deal that we've got is going to come through for us. I can't wait, man. I really can't wait. It's time for a European tour for S2 GFC. If I'm being honest with y'all, our experience so far in the Premier League has been a bit hit and miss. Last season, we finished ninth, and this season, we weren't really off to a good start. Fulham smashed us. Look at the goals they scored. This is bad. Why are we so bad defensively? McGinty? No way. That's offside. Lol. That's offside. How is that not offside? No way, dude. No way. This is just horrendous. But I'm hoping with the return of Dara Burns, everything will come together. It is time for Dara Burns' debut against Aston Villa. Not debut, his return. I'm not entirely sure if he was at the club since we've been in the Premier League. I don't think so. Has he had a season with us in the Premier League? No, last season he wasn't here. So it is his Premier League debut for us. And yo, this game is being played at our brand new stadium as well, which is super exciting. Let's see the differences made by having Dara Burns don that number 11 jersey out wide ball inside to him lovely ball in for scarlet already providing an assist yup dara burns has joined the party it's taken him three minutes to register his first assist we're on to something here that's a smart ball for paulinho who takes advantage of a mistake and paulinho cut back inside for scarlet who scores another one our wingers are looking electric today and also dane scarlet deserves credit that's his second goal of the night oh get the ball away boys <laughs> new mukiel that's that's a good one and there you go first game with dara Burns in the team. An easy win. We were looking electric in the attack. More of this, please. Look at this, guys. Scarlet scores a brace and look at the vulture surrounding him. They want to sign him for 42 million. Absolutely not. We're not accepting any more offers for any of our players this window. I'm happy with the team and we're just going to lock it in. Deadline day, actually. I'm done with deadline day. I'm skipping it. There you go. We're letting the denars go through. It's time to get into the season and deliver with the team we've got. Although the window is shut, you guys have been giving me good suggestions for transfer and one such thing is left back. Emma has been a great servant in the club. However, he was a free agent and I don't think he fits the bill anymore. I suggest buying someone like Wijnald, maybe Balde from Barca. Love the corn and sit, keep it up. I appreciate that, man, a lot. But about your comment, you're right. The next upgrade for this team has to be left back and maybe in January we'll address that. Balde, I'm, I'm, I'm just scared to even look at his price. Let's see, Alejandro Balde. Whoa, his scouting report isn't available. We'll ask our scouts to scout him, but if he's available, for a decent price. Maybe we go in for him. You just never know. I like the idea of that, but of course, can only happen in January. Meanwhile, we've got Everton in the Premier League, and let's keep winning. Oh, Scarlett gets the ball, sees Dara Burns in open space. That's his best position down the wings. He gets his goal. Dara Burns scores his very first Premier League goal for the club. This is emotional. No, no, no. We're going to nope. concede you. What a save from Nick Pope. It was chaos, though. Ball inside for Tyler. Now Dane Scarlett sees the ball for Dara Burns. Denied. Oh, that, that was so close to going in. There you have it, guys. Full time. Dara Burns' goal is the difference maker. Bro, in other news, the demand for Dane Scarlett is crazy. Like, almost every club is interested. If things keep going like this, I can easily see a buyer and boss or someone to try and swoop in and take him away. We've got to be careful. Meanwhile, it's finally time for our European journey to begin on board the S2 GFC Emirates flight. And it's time to go to the Europa League, our first games against Final. Before we get into that game, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. We're trying to hit 200k subscribers for the second channel. If you guys can help me get there, that'll be awesome. Honestly, guys, even though it would make sense to go with our strongest team here, I want to be playing the likes of McGinty, the likes of Ibsen Rossi, Callum Berry as captain, because like these are the players that got us here. They deserve to be in the starting 11. Max Holmes as well. Honestly, I would want Neymar as well, because he was like our first mega, mega signing. So that's it. That's the team that's going to be playing in our first ever Europa League game. Let's do this. This is the reason we upgraded our stadium to a bigger one to be able to host games like this. Europa League nights. 
and this is just the beginning. Callum Berry captaining his team in a European game. Who would have thought when we win the fourth division of English football? Nobody, man, nobody. But this is who we are, and let's freaking do this. Could this be our chance? Berry inside for Tyler. No way could it be. It is. David Tyler has just scored the first ever European goal in this club's history. Oh, man, this, this is emotional. This is emotional stuff right now. The first ever goal. It had to be David Tyler. Let's get the win now. I don't want to say one player just makes a big difference, but honestly, with how direct Dara Burns is, it just brings something completely unpredictable to our team. Honestly. Like, he didn't score there or assist or anything there, but he just pushes and stretches defenses, and it's an unbelievable quality. Something with Kubo we were lacking. Oh, this is this is bad. This is bad. What a save, McGinty. I'm going to play McGinty in every Europa League game this season because he deserves it. Get it away, boys. Get it away. No, nope. no, no. What a volley and an even better save from McGinty. This is this is not looking good. Not looking good. I overcommitted there with Patterson, I think, and Feyenoord get themselves a goal back. Hey, this is the Europa League. We're playing against some of the best clubs from all across Europe. It's not going to be easy. Oh, that's a good ball in. Oh, problems again. Thank you. They made a big mistake. Why the extra pass? But we're lucky. We'll take it. Guys, I'll be real. Neymar hasn't really done much for the team in this game at all. I feel like age is finally catching up to him. Like, look at that. Lackluster is what I'll say. Oh, this is bad. We've just been completely opened up. That is a different level of football. I had no idea what to do. The Europa League ain't gonna be easy. Okay, looks like Neymar's woken up here. Good pass for Tyler. And bang! An instant response. Neymar, that's more like it. He created that goal all by himself. And David Tyler gets his back in and his second goal in the Europa League. Oh, no way. Tyler's through, I think. I think he's through. David Tyler on a hat-trick right now in the Europa League. And he gets it. David Tyler, first ever Europa League game. And the man has just scored a hat-trick. He's been here from day one. And he's going to be here until the very end of this journey. What a player. No, 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 no. McKinty, what a save. What a save from McKinty. No. Oh, <laughs> Spain. Such an incredible moment from Tyler, ruined by a silly goal like that. Okay, I do not want to be losing this game. Scalvini does well, and we clear the ball away, and that should be it for this one. A hard-fought draw? Well, the Europa League is definitely going to be exciting this season. Guys, I think we need to have a real conversation about Neymar. Because, my God, is his downfall sad. Like, he, I don't think he can score goals anymore. He's lacking the raw pace to get through. Like, look at that. His sprint speed down to 69. Strength down to 39. Agility, acceleration. Physically, he ain't the same. He can still assist in everything. But I think it is time to finally say goodbye to Neymar. What I'm going to do is I'll put him on the transfer list. And if we start getting offers for him... I'm going to take it because we could potentially still get about 35 million for Neymar, which is ridiculous if you think of it that way. I think it might be time to cash out. Meanwhile, we're going to get through our next Premier League game against Crystal Palace, hopefully with a win, uh, only a draw. Meanwhile, I get through another Carabao Cup game and we take a bit of an L, which is sad. We're out of the competition, but honestly, I don't think we've got the bandwidth to focus on this many competitions. The Europa League is going to have our hands full. We get this game against Southampton out of the way and thankfully with a win, of course, Dara Burns scores as well. Yo, I just looked at the Premier League table and I can't believe this. We are second in the league this time around. That is honestly a bit crazy. Are we going to be in a title fight now? I don't want to even think about it. It's it's too early to say. It's too early to say. Remember last season we finished ninth in the league. Anyways, we've got some Europa League action. These are the games where we need to win to just get our qualification sorted. This is what I'm talking about. Dara Burns is always so direct. 1v1. Off the crossbar. That, that's a poor finish. He should have scored. Berry. Oh, you give that much space to Dara Burns. He's going to stretch the defense as much as possible. Going to try and cut inside from you. Dara Burns. Good ball for Kovacic. We're playing brilliantly. Uh, Tyler now. How is that save? Rebound. Kovacic gets there. Scores. We'll take it. Matteo Kovacic doesn't score often. So nice to see him get on the score sheet there. It's the Europa League. We're going to have to do a bit of defending as well. And that's why we've got Scalvini. Did great blocking there. Neymar's come off the bench as we now have Holmes. Looking for Neymar. That's really well worked. And Neymar puts it wide. 
And there you go. That scrappy goal from Kovacic is enough to give us our first ever Europa League win. I'll take it. I won't lie, guys. I feel like we've got enough quality now in this group to top the group. I think we should be able to do it. In other news, we've got a scouting report on Balde, who's 82 overall. Ah, to sign him, it's not going to be an easy task at all. Ah, maybe next season? Maybe some more sponsor and brand deals then? We'll able to see what's up. Next up in the Premier League, though, we've got Newcastle United, and with all the money they've got, they're not going to be an easy team to beat. Oh, Dara Burns, that touch was lovely, and that touch there made the goal happen. He's changed this team. I think he's going to make us a contender for top four easily. What a player. They have a chance here to score and fair play Dolbo. That was a good finish. Newcastle aren't a pushover team. They're decent. Oh, good ball for Paulinho. Inside for Scarlett and now a chance. Oh, -ho! that is brilliant football, man. Unbelievable. This episode, we're playing some great football. 2 one up. As I said, this Newcastle team is good and they've got Bukayo Saka. Of course, they're going to be able to score. But in the 86th minute, we have a chance to win this game. David Tyler, 1v1. Yes, let's go. Tyler scores. Celebrates in style. We've just been in Newcastle United in dramatic fashion. Is this result going to make us title contenders? Probably, man. What a win. We followed that big result against Newcastle up with a win against West Ham. Honestly, second in the Premier League. I'm, I'm starting to believe this might be a special season. Honestly, I can feel it. Meanwhile, in the Europa League, if we can beat Athens in our next game, I think that basically guarantees us qualification. Oh, no, 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 no. We've been opened up and they score. Athens are looking like a surprise package in this group they're one and up oh look at this space for paulinho has really emerged as a fantastic player that might be one of the assists of the season what a ball from paulinho for a second i thought tyler bottled it as he took so long to take that touch but for real guys just just look at this cross from paulinho i think he not make the defender as well so a bit of luck there lovely delivery but look at tyler he almost bottled it took a touch for some reason i don't know why but thankfully it went in oh just releasing it for dara burns he's always there on the counter attack with the breakaway setting it up for maxi there you go holmes gets himself a goal in the europa league you'll love to see that alinho looking for david tyler come on a goal now should seal this game for us and david tyler is having the time of his life in the europa league and there you go we get another europa league win i think that puts us in a fantastic spot to qualify i find it difficult that we won't from this spot also it's time to just go through the s2 gfc twitter account and see what's up new season new stadium new kids absolutely look at this that, that, that's that's not really how our new stadium looks but hopefully one day our stadium will look like that mid stadium and mid kids for a mid club of course uh, i'll see you when we end up winning the premier league welcome to s2gfc mukieli i this was a great signing for the price i still can't believe we got it hey this is hilarious happens to the best of us yeah we took a big beating to liverpool but so did manchester united i couldn't believe it when liverpool were hitting like seven parts them crazy time to get back to business because our next game could decide whether we're true contenders or just pretenders yes we're up against manchester city this game is gonna be huge and that man dara burns these are the games we've signed him for okay not the best of starts conceding a free kick to kdb from like 30 yards is de bruyne actually gonna go for goal yup he is what a save from nick pope de bruyne oh he's just floored me there with the sidestep nope. and big save from nick pope so far we're, we're not playing well Oh no, Scalvini. That was so naughty. Uh, that was a bad one. A bad one. Yellow card's an understatement for that. A fan of this. Not really a fan of this. Phil Foden. Looking back inside. We've got to be careful with Scalvini being on a booking. We survived there, but so far it's been all about survival. Oh, once again, they just opened this up like a book. Wow. We just got completely destroyed there. 1-0 City. Burns looking for Tyler. Oh my god. How was that save? But Kovacic is really good at He's trying to control this City midfield. It's not an easy job. So far he's doing okay with it. Here goes Kovacic. Releasing it for Dara Burns. Who's attacking now with a lot of pressure. Puts the ball in. Scarlett Middle. What a run of play that was. I give Kovacic all the credit there. Brilliant run from deep in midfield. We're back in this game against City. Come on. No, 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 no. We're not letting you guys get the lead in this game. No, no, no. It's time to just get, get the defense in order. There we go. Patterson's making a run. We might just be able to sneak away with the win. Scarlett heading it down. No. I think that's going to be it for the game. Unless one more attack. Paulinho. No. I think it's I think it's over. 
it's never over until it really is over. Stara Burns driving forward, looking for options. Sees Kovacic making a lovely run. Matteo Kovacic in the 90th minute. This season could be something special for s I cannot believe what Kovacic has done in this game. That is one of the best performances I've seen from the Mithrida at the club. Surreal. Dara Burns as well. Unbelievable there. Let's go, boys. We're taking on all three. Unbelievable scenes, man. This season, we could be on course for something special. Next episode, the journey continues. The drama continues. Are there going to be player departures? Grant's window approaching. We'll see what's up then. If you're enjoying this series, subscribe to the channel. Get your S2GFC kit. Links in the description.